Okay, so the ultimate question. Can Greenfield substitute BGC? Hello folks, so welcome to today's video. I'm currently going up a staircase to join the Calayan Bridge to go over to the Greenfield District Central Park area because they're currently having an event where they're gonna light up the Christmas tree that we saw in the previous video. Um, the reason why I'm walking is because I haven't managed to get myself a joyride or a grab taxi because the time is around about 4.30 p.m. so it's approaching rush hour and there's not many drivers out and about. Quite a steep flight of staircase that, and this is Calayan Bridge. I look, there's a rainbow. I'm kind of running a little late, and so I'm not going to do a lot of filming until we get to our destination, but you can see the northbound of the bridge is pretty busy. Traffic isn't flowing much, but the southbound is pretty clear. I believe there's a train going underneath us. Oh, no. It's some sort of march. Ah, I think it's a uh, local barangay elections. I would go downstairs and have a look by going down the staircase here, but I got no time, so let's carry on. Whoa. You accept someone, Paul? Oh. I have, I have. Oh man, <laughs> okay, thank you. What kind of Paul? Yeah, you can try. There you go. Let's try. Thank you for us, Thank you. All right, that was a one minute ride for 50 pesos. You know, I thought I'd take a little bit of a shortcut because uh, I'm starting to sweat a little and I thought I'd make my life a little bit easier by cutting a bit of the route. But look, this is all traffic here. So it's quicker for me to walk from here on out. And I think we're almost there. We've almost arrived at our destination. I recognize those two towers in the distance over there. That's the area of Capital Commons. And this is the Twin Oak Place. Three condos that we checked out in a previous video. Oh, I think they've blocked off the road for the event. I'm not sure. And we're here. This is the main Christmas tree here. Woo! Quite big. Apparently it's 65 feet tall. But anyway, the purpose of today's video is not only to watch the Christmas tree lights turning on, but also to get a feel of the neighborhood. Because in a previous video, I checked out Condominion, a beautiful condo in the Twin Oaks Place condos, which is right next to this central park and i really really liked it the asking price was 50k a month and i'm really thinking about possibly moving into that condominium which is just over there but before i fully commit i really need to get a sense of the neighborhood because i don't want to give up bgc and i've come here today to see if greenfield district can substitute bgc i'm not sure if it can but we're gonna find out in today's video or at least get a better feel oh they just turned it on Hey, 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 hey! It's not even 5 p.m., is it? Wow! Okay, I think they were just testing it. <laughs> now, the turnout of people for today's event looks dismal. There's hardly anyone out, and I think that's because it rained previously. You can see the puddles on the step here it rained pretty hard at around about 3 p.m. Well, there's only three minutes left until the uh, Christmas tree lights are supposed to turn on. But I think they're running a little late. Let's ask Kuya here. Is it going to turn on at 5 p.m. or uh, is it 6 p.m.? Okay, oh. delayed, right? Because of the rain. Ah, I see. Okay, no problem. Whew, that's good then. That means uh, we can venture around, wander around for an hour and then come back at 6 p.m. once uh, they finish setting up the stage and the event. Is this yours, man? Is this yours? Is that food? No. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Ma'am just there has got a food store in one of the greenfield. How do I go inside? Here, for the entrance. Okay, thank you. I'll see you inside. Ah, okay. We've got an unofficial entrance here through the grass, over the wet soil, which is turning to mud. Ooh. 
Mm. Pretty slippery as well. Da, na, na, na. Damn, today is not a good day to be throwing down this event, especially on the field here where the soil has become really damp and muddy due to the rain. It's a good thing I got like my old shoes on because if I had my new shoes on, it'd be trash. Check, check, check. Sound check, sound check, yeah, yeah. Check, you, check. you want me to do the sound check? Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> but it depends. I'm pretty good at sound checks. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make a vlog every day, okay. so. Uh, testing, testing, microphone check. One, two, one, two. Yeah, it's good. Check, check. Yeah, I give my approval for that microphone. I'm not sure about the rest. If the others fail, you can't blame me. But uh, I confirmed the first one. Wow, they've even got a camera here. Are they going to be live streaming this event? Are you going to be singing? No? Oh, okay. Where is this streaming to, sir? Uh, Germany Network. Ocean Network? Oh, okay, nice. Oh. Hi, are you still setting up, sir? Yeah. The market stalls still. But I'm done with this. Oh, you're done? Okay, nice, nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pancit Bihon, Beef Caldereta, Pork Adobo, Pizza, damn. There's a lot of food stalls here. Quite a lot. Hello, sir. Hello, there's Schwarm and Rice here. Oh, kebab. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? Got some skewers here. What else? Some sisig? Oh, yeah, look at that. Sisig and rice. Now, I don't know if these umbrellas have been specifically erected just now because of the rain, but they're very convenient and they're huge, huge umbrellas. Look at it. The canvas for one of these umbrellas pretty much covers about almost a quarter of the field. Look at that. What have we got here? We've got some orange stuff. Ilocos, Ilocos. And some lechon. Wow, wow, wow. Lechon, what's that up, yeah? Uh-oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Lamit. Okay. Lamit. Lamit. Oh, Bisayan, yeah? Yes. Oh. Takpila. Takpila, no? 150. 150. Oh, okay, okay. No, not really. <laughs> but I've been to the Bisayas. Where are you from, Cebu? Cebu, South. Cebu. Oh, I love Cebu. Yeah. This is what they sing, right? Yeah. What event is that? Asinudo. In the log, that's it, that's it, correct, 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 correct. That's the future plan. You think Greenfield District will substitute BGC, yeah? Yes, because uh, we have good location. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize they were gonna play loud music here. I swear this event really be running on a Filipino time, right? Got kind of late. <laughs> no, but you can't blame them, you can't blame them because of the uh, the weather. Oh, I've just spotted a husky up ahead. Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> what a what a funny husky. <laughs> Look how playful he is. <laughs> right, as they've started playing copyright music in this area, I'm gonna head elsewhere. Hello husky! Is this a girl? Yes. Oh uh, yes? Oh. Is she friendly? Oh? Not friendly? Hey, how'd you do? No, no, so he's just in twin Oh no way. Yeah, yeah. How, how, yeah, how is it? But don't face that uh, that side, right? That side, that, is that right. side's really busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's facing Shaw Boulevard. The Shaw Boulevard. Oh my god, it's awful. But <laughs> it's I think awful. That, 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 that one you, you it's have nice, it. right? Really? For 50,000? Uh, it's too really? much, right? Uh, actually, with, with that kind of uh, furniture, and furniture? Yeah, yeah. what do you think? It's too much or it's good? It's good for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about the area? The area here, the community is. Really vibrant, but yeah. not as vibrant as, as BGC. Uh, BGC yeah. But it's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah you can the consider. Only, yeah. The only thing is, though, like to get to SM, to get to Shangri La, yeah, you have to walk. Like you have to walk across. Like, the, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But it's like ten to fifteen minute walk. Yeah, I know, yeah. but right now my luxury is like I drop down from Park Street. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like everything's there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's what I have to like reckon with. Like, am I also? I'm gonna be paying more. But how much is that in front? How much I pay now? 40, 40, 42. 42. 42. And it's fully renovated. Ah, yeah, yeah. But this is nicer, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this unit is nicer. <laughs> it's true, it's true. And but the it, view, the view, yeah. The view is, yeah, incredible. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. I want to try to get another feel for like what Greenfield area is like. Maybe I'll go to SM 
tower, yeah, yeah. mega mall, see how convenient it is. And if it's really convenient, then maybe... Yeah. Then you can also walk to Podium, right? So it's a few walks away from right. Mega Right, and Capital Commons is over there. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, yeah. Would, you, would you prefer living here or BGC? Which one would you pick? Uh, before it's BGC. You used to live in BGC? No, no, no. no. Oh. Uh, we're considering before, mm. like two years ago, it will yeah, yeah. be here or BGC, but we rather choose here. Why? Uh, first, it's expensive in BGC. Here, How much do you pay here? Uh, here, like 25000 But That's what I mean, like you're paying half. <laughs> like, yeah. But it's not as big as the other one that uh, you saw. Yeah, yeah. My one's, the, that one's 47 47 I think it's 40. Ah, you, you can negotiate. 40, no, no, 47 SQM. Ah, mine is like 36. Mm, that's what I've got right now. And Preparation for the event is still underway. I just bumped into two subscribers who've been watching my channel for almost a year since uh, I started complaining about my electricity bill in One Uptown. And they live in Twin Oak Place right here, but they've got a studio unit which is 37 square meters and they're paying 25k, half the price of uh, the unit I checked out in my previous video. All right, we've made it to the very busy Shaw Boulevard and it is completely gridlocked right now. Traffic is backed up. There are no cars moving along here. But you know what? It's kind of funny when all the cars are stationary like this. It's not that loud. It's only when the cars and the jeepneys start accelerating do you hear those loud exhaust pipes popping off. Okay, now to get to the Shangri-La Mall before I uh, jaywalked across the road accidentally because I don't know which way I was going. But you're supposed to take the footbridge up here to go to the other side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. We don't even need to take the footbridge. I think this is actually for the MRT station. Oopsie, my bad. It's underneath the footbridge where you got to turn right. And yeah, there's a zebra crossing here. Holy smokes. You want to you wanna talk about true Metro Manila? This is what true Metro Manila looks like. Everybody talks about BGC being a bubble. Technically it is. This is what Manila Manila or Metro Manila I mean looks like. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Welcome to the vlog, how are you doing? <laughs> Shaw Boulevard Station. Okay, so if I was to move here, let's say, where would I do the introductions for my vlog? Huh? Hello bro. It's gonna be like people screaming every like five seconds going, hey bro! There's the blue MRT line. Once again, SM does not disappoint with its Christmas decor this year. Three beautiful golden arches right at the entrance to the mall. Let's go inside. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I swear, if there was an award for the best Christmas decor of the year, it would have to go to SM. They have pretty much beaten any mall or any sort of developer out there. They've really gone in this year. The chairman unofficially would award the SM brand for the best Christmas decor of the year. Wait, is this stage not off limits? People can actually walk up and down it? Yeah, they can. Look, kids are going up and down it. Uh, back in the UK, I went to a university where the main logo was the stag. And so I really appreciate these golden scale stags that they have here at SM Mega Mall. There's about six of them, if I'm not mistaken. Actually five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. How beautiful are they? I think they're unique to SM Mega Mall. I've not seen any stags anywhere else in the SM malls. And they glisten so beautifully in the light as well. But this Christmas decor is really distracting me from the vibes that I'm supposed to be trying to feel. But hey, it's Christmas, are you? I'm supposed to be thinking about whether uh, the Greenfield District area and Ortigas can win me over from BGC. Hmm. It's getting tough, man. It's getting tough because in BGC we don't have a major mall. The only major mall or one that comes close to being a big mall is Market Market. And I'm not really there that frequently. So, Melo. Okay, now technically because we're inside SM Mega Mall, 
I think SM Mega Mall is just on the border of Ortega Center. So we should be able to get to the podium from here. I'm not sure if we can. I've just checked on Google Maps. It's about 350 meters in this direction. Let's ask Kuya if there's an exit in this direction. Hello, Kuya. Uh, can I get to the podium this way? Uh, yes, sir. You can take the big fit and turn there. Uh, the other podium, side. yeah? Okay, thank you, Paul. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like I can, according to the security guard. Just gotta go straight, turn left, and uh, we should get there. I mean, this area is certainly a lot better for shopping than BGC is. There's just so much options. Hello, ma'am, how are you? Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, sir. Podium? You know what podium is? Podium, sir, there. Just straight, yeah? Okay, all right. Bam, we're really in Ortigas. Look at this. Kind of hard to believe. Uh, but don't get me wrong. I think it has taken me about 20 minutes to possibly get to where I am from Twin Oaks. It's not super close. I don't think. It's a seven minute walk from Twin Oak Place to Shangri-La, then from Shangri-La to SM Mega Mall, that's another five minutes. So we're talking about 13 to 15 minutes. And then to get to the podium, it's on the other side of this footbridge here. I mean, this place is certainly much more of a concrete jungle than BGC is. A lot more adventurous. Out, out. Yes, yes, my G. Oh, I'm walking on the wrong side. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Oi. Oh, I remember these staircases being quite slippery when there's big forwards here. Gotta watch out. Why is it pitch black? Damn. There's certainly a lot more bustle in this area from the traffic and all the commuters going home along Edsa. Look, most of these people that you see right now are all commuters going home from work. Okay, and we're here. We've made it to the podium. Now, I'm going to check Google Maps and see if it actually takes 20 minutes to walk from the podium to the Greenfield District. Oh, look, the podium has got a Christmas tree here too. Look at that. Ding, 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 ding. Great Christmas tree, but like I was saying, SM just does it better. Okay, according to Google, it takes 15 minutes to get from where I am in the podium to the Greenfield District area. Now, the equivalent of a 15 minute walk in BGC would be going from like Uptown to maybe Market Market, if not SM Aura. <laughs> so hi, hi in the sky, hey? Okay, I'm now gonna make my way back to the Greenfield District and see if there's been any progress made since last time because they were running a little late due to the rain. So I'm gonna march very quickly and I'll tune in when I get there. even higher Woo! Wow oh my god that's gonna be a big one look at it go Wow Jeez. it takes such a long time for those fireworks to go up oh. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy smokes. Can you hear how much louder the thud is? Wow. Sounds like a bomb. Wow. I think that was the finale, folks. Hey! Good show of fireworks, eh? Oh. Nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again. How was the fireworks? <laughs> Good, right? Was, I didn't expect that. Did you know there was going to be fireworks? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to turn on the Christmas tree <laughs> and then that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! What's wrong with her? Oh, the diet. She doesn't want to be on a diet. Yes. You're going to be on a diet, fat one. <laughs> oh, the choir's arrived here. Look at this. Let's hear them sing some Christmas carols. I'm going to sit here next to this husky here. Oh, there's another husky. Oh my God. Wait, are they related? Uh, do they know each other? No. Oh. Hello. This one's a very talkative one. Oh, you're gonna listen too? Huh? You're gonna listen, huh? Here we are. Toy to the world, the Lord is come. Let every receiver king. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven, and heaven, and heaven, and Okay, so the ultimate question, can Greenfield substitute BGC? Well, let's start off with the walk back from the podium to the area of Greenfield District. I tell you what, it wasn't an easy walk. It lapsed for about 15 minutes long. Half of it was through the mall, and then the other half of it was through the streets of Mandaluyong. On top of the streets being really humid, there's also an additional level of exhaust fumes. Here, the levels are PM 2.5, you can really feel it sticking to your skin. Um, it's almost very akin to the type of climate you experience right in the center of Bangkok, which is super uncomfortable. You can't really be outside for more than five or 10 minutes without feeling the stickiness from it. Whereas the air in BGC, I think is a lot cleaner. There's a lot less fumes, and most of the fumes and the PM 2.5 that I'm feeling is caused by the gypneys in this area. Now, if I compare my unit to this unit or any other unit here in Mandaluyong, I don't think there is a unit that matches the convenience that I have in my current unit. I can literally drop down from my unit and Landers is right at the base. Mitsukoshi is on the other side of the street. And then across the building is Uptown Parade and a one minute walk, you've got Uptown Mall. It's incredible, I don't have to go anywhere. Whereas here, if I wanna to get to the closest mall, I'm going to have to walk for about seven to 10 minutes to get there through pretty hot and sticky climates. And so if I'm going to leave BGC, I think the thing that's gonna motivate me to leave is if I can find a unit that's almost half the price that I'm paying for my current unit in Uptown. 
My current unit is at 42,000 pesos per month. So if I can find something in Mandaluyong that's in between 20 and 25,000 pesos, fully furnished the way my unit is currently furnished, then I might seriously consider it. But to leave BGC and give up on all the convenience that I have and pay more, it doesn't make sense. I feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot if I do that. And so I think that answers my question in terms of whether I'll be leaving BGC or not. But if there are really great value units in this area for that price range, or I can get a lot more square meters than my current unit for 50K, maybe like somewhere in between 60 and 70 square meters, then I will reconsider it once again. But for now, folks, I'm going to try and finish my Venti Ice Americano from Starbucks and try and get myself a joyride back home if I can. Yesterday, I had a bit of a problem trying to secure one. Let's see if I'll have the same problem today. Okay, folks, I'm going to be wrapping up today's video outside this Christmas tree here in the Greenfield district. But uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on our channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.